Please stand. We begin this holy night, Christmas Eve service, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the water. God said, let there be light, and there was light. Jesus is the light of the world. At this time, we'll turn all the other lights off for a moment. You may be seated, and we listen to that beautiful old Christmas hymn, O Holy Night.
Thank you for the beautiful special music, Jace and Tanya. Let us pray. On this holy night, all-powerful and unseen God, the coming of your light into our world has brightened our weary hearts with peace. Call us out of darkness. And on this holy night, the night of our dear Savior's birth, we gather to stand with the shepherds amazed at your glory. We're gathered to sing with the angels rejoicing in your work, to wait with Joseph trusting in your promise, to sit with Mary cradling your love. And so may the good news of this holy night inspire each of us to tell the world of our great joy. To us, to each of us, is born a Savior, the Messiah, the Lord. Glory be to God forever and ever, we pray in Jesus' holy name. Amen. We sing together our opening hymn, O Come All Ye Faithful. Join with me in our Christmas dialogue. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The Word became flesh and lived among us, and we have beheld Christ's glory. To us is born, to us a child is born, to us a son is given. In the Word was life, and the life was the light of all people. May the grace and hope and love of Christ be with you on this holy night and always, and also with you. Let us sing together, O Little Town of Bethlehem.
our Christmas Eve gospel. It's from the Gospel of Luke, the second chapter. I begin on verse 1. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and all went to their towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David, called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of swaddling cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. And this shall be a sign for you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem to see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. And when they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen as it had been told them, the gospel of the Lord. We take a moment of silence on this holy night, a moment of silence just to be still, to be, to be present on this holy night, to see the candles flickering, to know that that light, Jesus, is the light in our darkness. That Jesus is the hopes and the fears of all the years are met right now, tonight, in this baby in the manger. Help us, Lord, to be still and soak in the words that the angel spoke. Do not be afraid. We look at the red that we are surrounded by, all these beautiful flowers, and the red is the color of the Holy Spirit. And God is at work, and the Holy Spirit is here. And Lord, we trust in the power of the Holy Spirit. So we just take a moment to ponder, ponder this holy night as Mary pondered all these words in her heart. O oh, holy night, the stars are shining brightly. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Silently, how silently this wondrous gift was given. God came down in the form of a little baby named Jesus, Emmanuel, which means God is with us. And Jesus was born to an ordinary young woman, a teenager, 
and her fiancé, Joseph. The lowly shepherds were out in their fields just watching their sheep as they do every night when all of a sudden the glory of the angels surrounded them and proclaimed that great news to you and you and you and you. To you, this day is born a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. And you shall find a sign, a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And Mary pondered these words. I can only imagine what Mary thinks about as a mother, as a, as a grandmother now. You wonder and you ponder what your child, what your grandchild will grow up to be. And we're going to listen to this beautiful song, Mary, Did You Know? This author, Mark Lowry, celebrates the birth of Jesus as a gift from God, and it's like he is wondering what he would ask Mary if he met her. So I wonder, Mary, mother of Jesus, did you know did you know all that your son was going to grow up to do and to be? Did you know that your little baby would give sight to the blind man? Did you know that your little baby was going to calm the seas with his hand? Did you know that when you kiss your little baby, you are kissing the face of God? Mary, did you know? Mary, did you know 
carried from the Old Testament prophet of Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Please stand, arise, and shine, for your light has come. In celebration of the gospel and the Old Testament prophets, we sing together the song of the angels singing. Angels, we have heard on high, and at this time I'd like the children to come up and kneel or sit on the steps in front of the manger. Angels, we have heard on high. We've got little treats for them here, some stickers that you guys can play with for the rest of the service, talking about the Bible verse that we've been talking about today. So today, we say as the angels sing, come, come kneel before the manger. I can only imagine what that first Christmas was like. What do you think it was like? I don't know. I have got a beautiful story. Do you guys like books? And this has beautiful pictures. So we're going to read this. It's called The First Christmas Night. Okay? And the Bible verse says, this is written by The First Christmas Night, written by Keith Christopher and illustrated by Christine Kornacki. And the illustrations are beautiful. And the Bible verse says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Can you see Mary and Joseph walking? Riding on the donkey? Twas the very first Christmas when all through the town not a creature was stirring, there was not even a sound. The moon shining bright in the heavens so high give lust the luster of midday to the Bethlehem sky. The animals were nestled in warm, cozy places with looks of contentment on each of their faces. Can you see the animals? And Mary and Joseph, so tired from the, from the road, had just settled down in humble abode. To Bethlehem stable they had traveled with care. They knew that their baby would soon be there. There's Joseph and there's Mary. And then in the stable, a baby's first cry. Peace on earth, goodwill, redemption is nigh. There's baby Jesus. 
and the animals are watching. He had not a crib, but a manger instead. The tiny new baby lay down his sweet head. Mary looked down at his cute little nose and silently counted ten fingers and toes. A regular little baby, just like you and I. As shepherds kept watch on a small nearby hill, their sheep were all silent and sleepy and still. Do you see the sheep? They're sleeping. When suddenly in the sky there arose such a sight, one angel, then many, approached them at night. And the shepherds were scared. Oh, my. The heavens rejoiced as their story unfold. A baby, a savior, had been born to the world. The shepherds don't know what to think, do they? The angel is telling them the good news. And so the shepherds arose to search for the place, to get a close look at the baby's sweet face. And so the shepherds, they knelt. They knelt down at the manger, just like you are kneeling at the manger, and they praised Jesus' sweet name. And soon all of those who heard would rejoice that Jesus came. And now we can say with delight, Jesus was born on that first Christmas night. That is good news. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And so we say, thank you, God, for this gift of the baby in a manger. And we can only imagine what that first Christmas was like, that first Christmas night. And I have a painting here. Do you want to hold on to that? And the adults can see this up on the screen. Pastor Paul Omen. We've shared a lot of his paintings over the year in Advent last year in Lent. And um, his paintings are beautiful. And I ask you to look at that. And what do you see? What was that holy night like to you? If you were kneeling at the manger, what would you like to be? Would you like to be one of those animals or Mary and Joseph? It happened so silently. But it happened in an extraordinary way. God came down the way we would least expect. God always shows up in the least likely places. A stable, a young teenage mom and her fiancé, this baby was born surrounded by animals. And Jesus, the King of Kings and the Prince of Peace, was not born in a place that you would expect. He wasn't born in a big fancy castle or fancy place. He was born in a manger. So think about young and old. Think about a time when God came to you in a very unexpected way. God tends to surprise us sometimes. Do you like surprises? God gives us surprises. So think about the last time that God came to you in an unexpected way, or maybe in an unexpected place, or through an unexpected person. How did that feel? Remember your surprise. Remember your emotions. That first Christmas, nothing stopped God from coming down coming down into the form of a baby. And nothing is going to stop God now from coming down to you and you and you and me. And the good news for us now is the same good news on that first Christmas night. Do not be afraid, the angel said, for a child has been born for us, a son given to us, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. So we say, what child is this? This, this is the word made flesh. This little baby is the cross that is born for you and for me. This baby is the Messiah, Emmanuel, God with us. God with us, God for us, God forgiving us, God loving us, and God freeing us. And this, this little baby, wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger, is the best good news, the good news of great joy 
for each and every one of us. So Merry Christmas to you. And we say thank you, God, for coming down as a little baby. And we sing together that song, What Child Is This? Thank you for coming, and you can have your stickers. this time I hold up our offering plate. We're not able to pass the offering plate, but I say thank you. Thank you for your generosity to the mission of Atonement Lutheran Church, and we have offering containers back by each of the doors. We also want to just say thank you for supporting our mission of the quarters, and right now we are, our mission is the Jamestown Regional Medical Center Hospice, and we pray for the hospice staff and the patients, hospice is a dear, dear ministry to many, many families. And so thank you for your support, giving online, um, giving in person. May God bless our offerings and let us pray. Emmanuel, God with us, you came as a baby to a manger. You slept on straw and greeted shepherds. You come again in the bread and the wine we are about to receive. Remind us how good you are at blessing ordinary things. And then through these gifts, help us to bless the lives of others in the strength of your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. At this time, we pray together, and in your response, as I say, Lord, in your mercy, we join and say, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Wonderful Counselor, increase our joy as all the churches gather on this holy night to sing of our dear savior's birth may this old old story of jesus birth and salvation live in our hearts as we sing of its wonders all year round god of grace lord in your mercy hear our prayer mighty god you have broken the yoke of sin's burden through the birth of your son jesus christ Comfort those whose burdens distract them from the deeper peace of this holy night and grant them a restful mind. God of peace, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
everlasting Father, hold all families who are in sorrow, who are grieving, who are in need of your divine goodness, mercy, and healing. We continue to pray for Carol and Beth, Gary, Terry, Corey, Marvin, June, Gerald. We pray for grieving families, especially here at Atonement. We pray for the family, Liz's daughter, Bridget, whose family has had two deaths in the last month. Much grief in a very short time, especially at this Christmas season, a brother-in-law and a sister-in-law named Linda. So we hold up this family. We hold up all families who are grieving and missing their loved ones at this time. And we pray for all who are in need of your healing touch. We pray for those who are affected by COVID, family celebrations that um, were not able to be because of COVID and close contacts. So hold each one of us in your warm embrace. Protect us. Heal us. Healing God, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we remember with thanksgiving all who have died and now rest in your peaceful light. Wrap your arms around those individuals who grieve and give the, that comfort here on this holy night. God of all love, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, surround us always in the light of your word made flesh, Jesus Christ our Lord. Reveal yourself to us in word and sacrament that we may bear your light to all the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. At this time we celebrate the sacrament of Holy Communion. We will be celebrating communion with our individual cups of bread and wine or juice. Make sure that everyone has a cup. If you are in need of a cup, please raise your hand and one of the ushers will bring you a cup at this time. I will give you directions and lead you through this process. We will be taking Holy Communion all together. On one side of the cup is a, a small, very small piece of bread, and on the other side is wine or juice. So I just want to make sure everyone is ready. So please stand at this time and we join in the great thanksgiving. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right and salutary that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, Almighty God, on this holy night. The wonder and the mystery of the Word made flesh you have opened our eyes to a new and radiant vision of your glory. And so draw us near to the love of God that we cannot see. So with the choirs of angels, with the church here on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise God's holy name and we join the choirs of angels in their unending hymn. Join me as we sing Sing with the choirs of angels, verse 3 of O Come All Ye Faithful. The night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and he gave thanks and he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And again, after he took the cup, he gave thanks and he gave it to all to drink, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. 
Do this for the remembrance of me. We will join together in the Lord's Prayer, and then I will give directions on communing together. So let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated. We remove the body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen each of you and keep you always in God's love and grace and peace today and always. Let us pray. O Lord, our God, with Mary and Joseph, angels and shepherds, the animals in the stable, we gather around your gift to us, your Son, Jesus Christ, born for us. Bless us with your holy presence and inspire us to help those who have no place to dwell. Be with us that we might share Christ's love with all the world. For Jesus is our light and our salvation, glory in heaven and peace on earth, now and forever. Amen. Amen. 
I read the Gospel of Light. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. And he was in the beginning with God, and all things came into being through him. Without him, not one thing came into being. And what has come into being in him was life. And the life was the light of all people. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. And from Jesus' fullness, we have all received grace upon grace. And Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. The Gospel of our Lord from John chapter 1. At this time, we are going to light our candles We begin at the Christ candle because Jesus is the light of the world. And always remember that the lit candle always stays upright and the unlit candle is the one that bends. So we will hum all of the, we will hum Silent Night until all the candles are lit and then we will sing Silent Night.
Let us pray our prayer of light. Almighty God, you made this holy night shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that here on earth we may walk in the light of Jesus' presence and in the last day wake to the brightness of his glory. Through your only Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please stand for our blessing. May the Lord God, who has called you out of the darkness to be the servants of light, may God grant you the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the obedience of Mary, of the obedience of Jesus and the wonder of Mary, and the peace of the Christ child. In the name of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen, amen, amen. Please extinguish our light as we sing joy to the world. Emmanuel, God is with you. Let your light shine. Thanks be to God. Have a merry, merry Christmas. Thank you for coming.